Hello friends, Miss Kristen here and welcome back to the Living Library. In just a little bit, you are going to learn an amazing and true Bible story, but I was wondering, do you want to play a guessing game with me? You do? Great. I am thinking of a make-believe story, one that's just pretend. If I give you three clues, do you think you can guess what story I'm thinking of? Let's find out. This story has a girl in it. Hmm. This story has a prince in it. And this story has a glass slipper in it. Do you know what make-believe story I'm thinking of? Cinderella! <laughs> That's right, it's Cinderella. Great guessing, friends. Now that you've guessed my make-believe story, let's get ready to hear one that's true. Turn on those listening ears and get out your quiet library voice. Shh. And let's hear our Bible story for today. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Living Library. We are so excited that you are here to learn more from God's true word. That's right, Andrew. Even though we know the Bible was written a long time ago, there is still so much that we can learn from it today. And that is part of what makes the Bible so amazing. I can't wait to learn more from it. Hey, why don't we wake up BookBot and see what our word of the day is? Friends, can you say, what's the word, BookBot? What's the word, BookBot? Hello, friends. It sounds like you are ready to learn. Today's word is interpret. To interpret something is to explain what it means. You can learn more about someone interpreting something in Daniel chapter two. Goodbye. Thanks, BookBot. <laughs> interpret. Can you say that word? Interpret. Great job. I'm really excited to learn more about this word. I think it's time to look in God's true word. <gasps> Friends, where do we find God's word? The Bible. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it, friends. Which, which book, book is the very best? The Bible, the Bible. I said, which, which book, book is the very best? The Bible, the Bible. <laughs> you got it, the Bible. God's true word is the very best book. Let's jump in. Oh. <laughs> Much better. Okay, friends. BookBot told us to look in Daniel chapter two. Now remember, the Bible is a big book made out of smaller books that tells one big story. And the book of Daniel is right here. Okay, friends, Daniel chapter two, let's see. Um, last time we learned about Daniel and his friends training to be servants of King Nebuchadnezzar. They were the best of the best and Nebuchadnezzar was very pleased with them. <sighs> Oh, well, hello there, Marion. You seem a little bit tired today. Hey, every. Oh, I'm sorry. I have been having really strange dreams lately, and I just can't sleep. Oh, well, I am so sorry to hear that, Marion. You know, our story for today is actually about someone who's having really strange dreams, too. Would you like to stay and listen? That would be great. Maybe I'll learn what they did to make it better. Sounds good. Okay, so friends, King Nebuchadnezzar was having very strange dreams and he couldn't sleep, oh, just like our friend Marion. <sighs> <laughs> so the king rounded up all of his servants and said to them, I have had a dream that troubles me and I want to know what it means. His servants said, tell us your dream and we will interpret it for you. But King Nebuchadnezzar didn't like the sound of this. He didn't trust his servants and knew that they would just make something up if he told him what the dream was. So the king decided that he would only believe a person who could tell him what the dream meant without the king having to tell them what the dream was first. But that's impossible. No one can know what your dreams are unless you tell them. You know, Marion, that is true. That's what Nebuchadnezzar's servants thought. The king was so mad that no one could interpret the dream that he wanted to put all of his helpers to death. What? Oh boy, I feel awake now. If the king kills all the helpers, did that mean Daniel and his friends were gonna be killed too? You know what? You're right, Marion, but let's see what happens because we know that God is in control. Okay, so. When Daniel had heard what happened, he asked the king to give him some time so that he could interpret the dream. 
Whoa, I didn't know Daniel could interpret dreams like that. Well, that's one of the things that makes this story so cool, Marion. Daniel trusted that God would help him. Daniel knew that God is in control. So Daniel asked the other helpers to pray to God and ask for mercy and protection. That night when he went to sleep, God revealed the king's dream to Daniel. Daniel got up and praised God, then went to see the king. What was his dream? Can Daniel really interpret it? Of course he could. Daniel went to the king and said, no man can do what you asked, but there is a God in heaven who can. Daniel told him that his dream was telling him about the future. The only reason I can tell you this dream is because God wants you to know it, said Daniel and friends. Here is what the dream was. Daniel said, you looked up and saw a large statue. The statue's head was made of gold. Its chest and arms were silver. Its belly was bronze and its legs were iron. The feet were partly iron and partly clay. Then a rock came down and smashed the statue into pieces. Then a wind came and swept the pieces away, leaving nothing. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain that filled the earth. Whoa, what did his dream mean? <laughs> well, Daniel went on to interpret the dream. He said, Nebuchadnezzar, you are the greatest king of all of Babylon. God has given you power and glory, and you are the head made of gold. After you, will, another kingdom will come that is not as great as yours, and then another. And finally, there will be a kingdom as strong as iron, but partly weak. At that time, God in heaven will set up his kingdom that will never be destroyed. It will crush all of those kingdoms. It will end those kingdoms. And the one that lives forever is the rock that becomes a mountain. Oh my, so this dream is showing that God's kingdom is the only kingdom that will stand forever? That's exactly right, Marion. Friends, God is in control. We can see this a few different ways in our story. Friends, can you know someone's dream without them telling you? <laughs> no, of course not. Only God could do something like that because God created dreams. God is in control even when we're asleep. In the king's dream, we also saw that only God's kingdom will last forever. God is in control. Oh, now, Marion, before you go away, can you tell us what you learned today? I learned that I can just trust God. He's in control. Only his kingdom will last forever. That's great, Marion. We will see you next time. Thanks for sharing. Okay, what about you, Andrew? Before we try our verse and pray, can you tell me what you learned today? Of course, there's a lot to learn from that story. Uh, Daniel interpreted the king's dream and told him that there's only one kingdom that will last forever. Do you know whose kingdom that was? That's right, God's kingdom. God's kingdom is the only one that will last forever because God is in control. That reminds me of our memory verse. Stand up and say it with me, friends. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. Thank you. All right, friends, let's do our special poem and pray. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. God, we thank you so much that you are in control. God, we know that you are in control every day, every night, and for all time, because your kingdom will last forever. Help all of my friends to remember this when they're awake and when they're asleep. Amen. All right, friends, get on your feet. It's time to dance. I get scared sometimes. So I cover my eyes But that's so silly Cause God is always with me So I stand up tall Stand up tall Remember He is strong He is strong I won't be afraid Be afraid God is always with me Fear, Fear. Get out of here
times So I cover my eyes But that's so silly Cause God is always with me So I stand up tall Stand up tall Remember he is strong He is strong Hello again, friends. Let's take a moment to remember what we learned. Today, we learned about King Nebuchadnezzar's strange dream. God helped Daniel not only know what the dream was, but also what it meant. Isn't that amazing? Friends, God is in control, even of things like dreams. I hope you can remember this all week long. See you next time. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, let us know by telling your parents to hit the thumbs up. And to never miss an upload, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you never miss another video of ours. Well, well bye see friends. you guys.